Hi, I'm Sampada from National Public School in the Ranagar, Bangalore. Today we are at our annual art exhibition, Art Shala, and we're very excited to be participating in the big draw. So what we're doing this year is that we have 25 different art forms of India which have been practiced for over several decades now. Now what we have is that students from grades 4 to 11 are participating in this and portraying these several different art forms. Madhupani painting is also known as Mithila painting and it is practiced in the Mithila region of Nepal and also in the Indian state of Bihar. With fingers, twigs, brushes, nib pens and matchsticks, using natural dyes and pigments and is characterized by eye-catching geometrical patterns. Kalamkari is a type of hand painting or block printing produced in different parts of India. The word is derived from the Persian words kalam meaning pen and kari meaning craftsmanship, meaning drawing with a pen. There are two distinctive styles of kalamkari art in India. One, the Shri Kalahasti art and the other, the Machali Patnam style of art. Worli art is a very simple, rudimentary form of tribal art. So what they do here is that they paint walls, generally a maroon coloured wall on which they use white paint. And what they do is that they paint very simple geometrical designs such as squares, circles and triangles. Here we have the Gond art which reflects the belief that viewing a good image gets good luck. Here we have Mughal painting, which is a style of South Asian painting. Mughal painting is generally confined to miniatures, either as book illustrations or as single works to be kept in albums. Here we have students taking part in Fad painting or Fad. It is a religious scroll painting and folk painting which is practiced in the Indian state of Rajasthan. The narratives of the folk deities of Rajasthan, mostly of Papuji and Dev Narayan, are depicted on the fads. The Bopas, the priest singers, traditionally carry the painted fads along with them and use these as the mobile temples of the folk deities. Pithora is a highly ritualistic painting done on the walls by several tribes that live in central Gujarat. These paintings have significance because when you execute these paintings, you get peace, prosperity and happiness. Kaligat painting or Kaligat Pat is something that developed over a long period of time in India. It started off in the Kaligat Kali temple in Kolkata. From the depiction of Hindu gods, goddesses and other mythological characters, the Kaligat paintings developed to reflect a variety of themes. Patachitra is a general term for traditional cloth-based scroll painting based in the eastern Indian state of Odisha. In the Sanskrit language, Pata literally means cloth and Chitra means picture. Most of these paintings depict stories of Hindu deities. So after a month of hard work, today's event completion was a dream come true. I think it was beautifully managed and researched. And what really worked well is uh, the rich tradition of narratives and storytelling that comes out of India and they've captured it beautifully.